Welcome, this video will show you one approach to average across blank, text or error cells in a financial model. As you can see, we have some trade data with the following details, which contain some ad hoc errors and omissions. The standard average function in Excel will be unable to work with a range which contains non-numerical cell values such as text, blanks or errors. We need an alternative function and formula, which will return an average value of 37,527. There are two approaches we will use to solve this, using the average ifs Excel function. Let's look at the first approach using average ifs. The average range will be the following range in column J. Criteria range will be the corresponding range in column B. Criteria 1 is does not equal. Criteria range 2 is again the following range in column J. Criteria 2 is this following value. It is imperative to be 100% accurate on this, otherwise the function will not work. The exact amount should be returning 37,527. The second approach again applies the average ifs Excel function, but in a slightly different way. Using the average ifs function, again our average range will be column J. Criteria range 1 again will be column B. Criteria 1 again will state how we want to ignore any transaction number cells which are blank. Criteria range 2 will again be column J. Now, criteria 2 will be a slightly different value compared to the first approach. It will be the following. Again, we are returning the correct amount, 37,527. And there we have it, our two approaches to averaging across blank cells, text or errors. In summary, here are the formulas for each approach. Feel free to check out an earlier video, Sum an Excel range ignoring blank text or error cells.